Well, hi YouTubers. Now, first of all, this is the second attempt for me to do this because I tried yesterday, but for those who watched my videos yesterday, I was way too full of cold to really function. And I'm a massive fan of Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know if you can see the calendar behind me. This month is Nebula because it's um, November. So, no, sorry, it's October. October. Um, I have two pops. One is Dancing Baby Groot. The other one is Yondu. Yondu I actually brought because I'm a massive fan of Michael Rooker. I have bought the album. I have the art of. I have the Blu-ray. I actually bought a Blu-ray player just so I can watch it on Blu-ray because it was a good commentary. So I love my Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm looking forward to this film. So I love the fact it's just so fun and in your face. And it's just the fact is that James Gunn took a risk and that risk paid off. So let me pull up my laptop, adjust the volume and talk about the film. Looking forward to this. Here we go. Play shoots for emergency off of fun. Fun. Nebula. It's not the dancer. It's pathetic. Like you. Thank it's you. not pathetic. Do you need a hug? You know, I'm Do you like no, I not. Oh, I thought I said no. You're welcome. Ah, what do I feel? High on believing. Okay. That I got a lot. Oh, oh. Okay, let me just uh, shut that down. Let me shut that down. Okay, let me just shut this down. All right. Okay. Did you notice Baby Groot was wearing a Ravenger jacket? Okay, which was just bloody adorable. Now, one thing is this. So, Mrs. Just properly, is Baby Groot. Okay, that is not the group from the film. That's what I read that that was a different group. It's got new memories. It's trying to find its way. It's like literally the baby of the group. It's basically it's so cute and adorable. This is so cute and adorable, is it? Can you merch on that? Honestly, the thing that stole the film for the first one was a little baby group. Not a baby group. Anyway, things that I noticed. First of all, Nebula, her, okay, Karen Gillen, who I've met, she's lovely. She is obviously being captured by the Guardians, but will she be joining them? Now, her relationship with Gamora is very antagonistic. They are sisters, okay, they're adopted sisters, and they are the children of Thanos. And so I want them, I want her to become if not a guardian, in the League of the Guardians, because she's a very good actress, and I think that she was very, very underused. She was ballsy enough to cut off her own arm to escape um, during the Battle of Xander. There you go. Now, one thing I did like is the fact that this, that thing that Drax and Star-Lord, well, Peter Quill had, you know, do you need a hug, do you need a hug? Now, I sat there thinking, no, probably Drax probably needs the hug, because Drax is finally, you know, he's Drax the Destroyer. Maybe he's the one who needs a hug. Not the other way around. And, oh my God, okay, I love, I absolutely adore, okay, um, Chris Pratt. Now, I didn't really see him much, apart from Wanted, and then Parks and Recreation, and Jurassic World. And he's done, he's an actor who's paid his dues. He's worked very hard to get where he has. That moustache and beard, lose the moustache, please. It's like, it's, it's like I'm, I'm trying to be a grown-up. And I get that Peter Quill, canonically, is 36. However, Chris Pratt looks way younger, looks mid-twenties, but he's a hybrid. And I said, this loser, you're not a grown-up, you are Star-Lord, just act it. And this is the best thing of all, okay, is having Yondu join the Guardians. Now, I did read, okay, that after he let Peter Quill skate with the orb, um, he was happy that Peter duped him because it... For Yondu, it was, my boy can stand on his own two feet, my boy's going to be fine. 
and then the Guardians betray, not the Guardians, sorry, the Ravengers aren't happy about this. They betray Yondu, he joins the Guardians. But he's with Rocket. Now, I am biased as hell about this, but what about Craiglin? Now, Craiglin is Yondu's second in command. And if any reads the fan fiction, normally he's paired with Yondu, and some of it is blinding, by the way. If you ever read the fan fiction, FFNet, AO3, check it out, it's awesome, okay? Now, to me, Rocket would make a fantastic Ravager, okay? So, the fact is that Yondu and Rocket are together, I thought was quite nice. And also, I don't know if anyone else knows this, but Rocket is actually played by Sean Gunn, who is Craiglin. Now, for Sean Gunn, if you want to see any of his work, watch Gilmore Girls, which I've never actually seen, but I heard he's really good in it. Or watch Tremio and Juliet, he plays Sammy Cadpillow. It's actually blinding in that film. If you look closely at Craiglin and Rocket, there's a few scenes which they're fitting. They, they, they move the same way. Sean Gunn was Rocket's motion capture and actually original voice. When they speak, it's got a kind of natural sarcasm and their head tilts the same way. Here you go. Next time you watch Guardians of the Galaxy, check that out. There you go. You might spot that. So I want to know where Craiglin is. Is he going to join the Guardians too? I hope he's not killed off because I love his character. And I look forward to see um, Sean Gunn in the Belco experiment. Here you go. So, there is this notion now of Peter, when he left the Ravagers to become a Guardian of the Galaxy, he was standing on his own two feet. Here you go. But, now his father has joined the Guardians. That's going to lead to some beautiful antagonistic moments. But when I say father, I mean Yondu. To me, Yondu is... Peter's real father. Now, on my blog, I wrote this long essay because I'm a massive fan of Michael Rooker. How I view Yondu as Peter Quill's actual real father, not ego the living planet, which I still can't believe. Okay, I have this fear that it's actually Loki, and I, I am, I'm spending all judgment until the film comes out. So, by having the antagonistic father figure within the Guardians, it's kind of going lead to some problems with Peter as well because he's the one who's kind of got to lead these bunch of misfits however he's got his own daddy issues coming in I mean we've always known he's got mama issues courtesy of Meredith Quill but now he's got some daddy issues too I am looking forward to this film I didn't know jack about Guardians of the Galaxy until the first film the first trailer came out and it was what's this what's this what's this I'm gonna go vacuum with a machine gun walked in there no expectations and I was blown away because it was so much fun there you go. So, this is my opinion of the what I've seen so far. Now, the script, I have absolutely no idea. All I know is, is um, Ego, the Living Planet, played by Kurt Russell, is Peter Quill's father. And I suspend all judgment until the actual proper trailer comes out. But this looks good. This looks really, really good. My only big gripe about Peter Quill is... Lose the fucking cash, mate. It doesn't suit you. Here you go. So that's my uh, opinion on the teaser trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy. And on a personal note, I can't wait to see Rocket and Yondu together. Because I I think them two were cut on brilliantly. Here you go. So anyway, thanks for watching, YouTubers. I'm going to be offline next week because I'm the, what's known as a digital detox. Which is why for the last, like, I uploaded like five videos yesterday. So... Anyways, any comments, anything you want to say, I will get back to um, in a week's time. And I'm have a good week on the internet. Sign off, YouTubers. Take care. Bye now.